So there is a video going viral, a flooded subway station being flooded thanks to Tropical Storm Elsa. And I can only imagine that that subway train is traveling straight to Hogwarts because that's the only thing that would get me to wade through New York subway water. Now this is devastating for a lot of different reasons. Immediately for those individuals, Brett, having to walk through that more than likely because they're worried they will lose their jobs if they don't get to work on time. So that's tragic too. But I want to give you a little bit more of some people's efforts to find a way to walk through there without getting too wet. Here's what they tried to do. I, that's that's a good try, but I don't think either of those things, Brett, are gonna succeed in keeping that. What I have to imagine is half sewage, half rats water off of your clothes and skin. But delicious, to be honest. Ugh. I assume it's flavored in that way. Uh, horrible reality, horrible reality. Uh, and also, I, as Ghost Dog points out with the, um, it says New Staff City. <laughs> S T A P H, but I would say, uh, and also said under the sea. But they're mixing their Disney references. That's true. And and guys, we are naming winter storms now. And Elsa is the name of the ice queen. That's true. In Frozen, why did we burn the Elsa on the For tropical storm, storm and Brad, not you know what save I'm gonna, it? You know what I'm gonna what? tell you to do? Huh? Let it go, man. It, there's other names. We'll come up with some. <laughs> anyway, this is important because this sort of flooding is not supposed to happen. And we can't necessarily say that this particular tropical storm was caused entirely by climate change, blah, blah, blah. But we know that the storms are getting worse and it's gonna become more common. And millions of people rely on that sort of transportation system to go about their lives, to get to work. Again, it can't be stressed enough. You have got to have a really good reason to want to walk through that, to be willing to walk through that. And supposedly they're dealing with it and they're gonna try to fix it and all that and they dispatch people immediately, but it's still devastating. So let's take this seriously. We talk in the abstract sometimes about New York becoming uninhabitable because it's being flooded. Maybe this is one of the early parts of that. And maybe next year is gonna be worse and maybe 10 years is gonna be even worse, but this is not, this can't, this can't stand. Like we can't go down this path. No, we can't. And it's very difficult. Yeah. It's <clears throat> the metaphor exists already for like a frog boiling alive. Yeah. You know, the frog in the boiling pot or whatever it is, where you just don't know. You can tell when it like a bubble happens, but you just don't, you don't know what to do because it's gradual and slowly yeah. you just, you just find yourself overtaken by it. And this is what it's like. And even still, like, there's a lot, a, a lot to be gained from a straight up like pollution, cancer, health perspective, and the potential for, you know, getting rid of our reliance on foreign oil you know, and reducing our reliance on foreign oil, foreign oil um, issues if we just go green, not to mention the jobs that will be created. So I think all this can happen in the meantime. Um, but yeah, yeah, I just don't envy anyone who is having to wade through the flooded sewers uh, or the flooded subways of New York City. Yeah, neither. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.